Welcome to the Koi Pond Experience. In this video, I want to share to you something that I've wanted to try for quite a while. I want to try solar power for the pond duration. Let's get straight to it. I'm assuming you're familiar with this equipment. Yeah! It's the Resin MPQ903. This one. It runs on 12 volts power, either from a 12 volts battery or a 12 volts solar power. So I just mentioned solar power. Here on the right, you've seen it, is my solar panel. It's 100 watts of 12 volts solar panel. So we have two items now for our experiment. <laughs> the solar panel and of course the DC equipment. I'm mentioning DC because this doesn't need an inverter to run. Okay. Next thing we need is of course, <laughs> right in front of you, our Oxios for testing. It's here. Next is the battery. This is a 20 AH battery for an electric scooter. Very small, but I think it's good enough for our experiment. And then this one, the one on top, is a voltmeter. I purchase it so that I can know the status of the battery, if it's low or if it's full. At least there's there will be no guessing game on the status of the battery. And then finally, what we need is what I call the manager. This guy. The solar charge controller. So with this device, the solar charge controller, I call it the manager because it's the one who handles the power that gets collected from solar and then transfers it to the battery and then the battery then gives power to the device over there okay. it's quite a simple device as a new B4 solar power I can explain uh, some simple things about it it basically has three connections that's one, two, and then three. This last one here connects to the load. In our case, the load is a DC air pump. See the adapters? They pair up. Okay. Let me go back. The middle one here is the one that we connect to the battery. And then the first one here is the one that we connect towards our solar panel. So pretty simple, right? Yeah! Okay, so now that you know about the stuff we need for setting up a solar aerator, it's time to put it to the test. <laughs> Stay tuned. The aerator there is powered by the Resin LP100. Now let's turn on the solar powered aerator. We can switch it on by a press of a button here. There it goes. Notice the strong water movements made by the bubbles. And here again now is our equipment. Fully activated and working and making a very loud noise. <laughs> Let's have a review. By the way, if you want me to make more videos like this, please comment below. Click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available. It's 11 a.m. at the moment and the sun is at full effects, which is perfect for harvesting solar energy. Here's the 100 watt solar panel. And here's the cable. 
that goes all the way to the solar charge controller or the manager. Let me just show you the wires and how sunny it is today. That's quite a long wire. Now let's head on back to the rest of the equipment. Notice how loud the DC air pump is. That amount of noise could be a deal breaker for most people. Anyway, at the moment, the 20 AH battery, to my understanding, is almost at full capacity. 35 volts. That thing right there is causing the noise. <laughs> and here's the manager. And yep, middle light is blinking, meaning the battery is indeed at full capacity. Just a review. The cable here on the left side of the solar controller connects to the solar panel. And then this middle cable here connects to our 20AH scooter battery. It's currently at 13.5 volts as you can see. The voltage meter is very easy to connect. The black wire is negative and goes to the blue terminal of the battery. The red wire is positive and goes to the red terminal. Let's check now and compare the bubbles and the water movement. Wow! Look at them go! That's powered by the Resson LP100. Really strong, no doubt. This here on the right is the aerator and solar power. The solar aerator really performed well. That's a personal opinion of course. I wonder how it would perform throughout the day. Anyway, I'll turn it off so you can see it shutting down. Again, that's the on-off button of the solar charge controller. Press it to turn off the load. It's nighttime now and it's quite dark. I want to share to you how the setup is doing. It's still noisy. <laughs> Time check. It's 8.11 p.m. And from the voltmeter, it says the battery is at 12.1 volts. I don't want to bring it lower than 12 volts. So I'll be turning off the air pump in a while. Notice now there's two DC air pump units that you can see. That's because the final solar air pump setup will involve these two units working together. By now, I know I will need a bigger battery. And that's quite expensive. When that day comes into my reality, yeah! I'll make sure to give you an update video regarding the final setup for this solar air pump. That's a promise. Yeah! One more time, let's check the air pump power. On the right is a solar air pump, looking strong. And then here on the left is the Reson LP100 air pump. Okay, that's it. Time to turn off the solar air pump. Remember that button? Just press this button and off. That's it for now guys. 
If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Comment below for any questions, reactions, and requests. I really appreciate those things. Good night to all of you, and see you in my next video. Yeah.